Hi everybody, I hope all of you are doing great. In the last video, we saw a problem called longest common subsequence. In today's lecture, we are going to see a problem called longest common subsing, right? So there's a difference between substring and a subsequence, right? And this is what these two problems demonstrate very beautifully, right? So uh, the question is pretty similar to the last question itself. You are given two strings itself. Uh, Instead of telling me the long length of the longest common subsequence, you have to tell me the length of the longest common substring, right? So this is like for sure that before diving deep into this problem itself, we should first understand what is the difference between a substring and a subsequence. So let us see that difference first and then, you know, dive into this problem itself. Let us see the difference between a substring and a subsequence. For example, I take a string A, B, C, D, E, F, a random string I've taken here. What is a substring? A contiguous segment of a string is a substring. It's just like an array, like subarray, contiguous segment of an array. Substring, contiguous segment of a string. So if I select this thing, right, B, C, D, is this a contiguous segment? Is this a contiguous chunk of elements from this string? Definitely B, C, D is present here. If I say D, E, F, D, D E, F is also present. A, B, C, D. You can see A, B, C, D is also present as a contiguous segment, right? But tell me about this, right? B, C, D, A, B, D. Is A, B, D present as a contiguous segment? You can say no. A, B, D is not a contiguous segment, my friend, because C is missing from this. A, B, C, D is a contiguous segment, but A, B, D is not a contiguous segment. So this particular thing here is not a substring, but it is a subsequence. Subsequence can be, you know, contiguous. It cannot be contiguous as well, but the only you can say thing subsequence has needs to has have is basically you know everything should be in a proper order so a b d right a then b then d that's fine if i say a d b this is not a substring and it's not a subsequence as well right so if i tell you the like difference if i summarize this right uh, a substring you can say is a contiguous segment of a string and a subsequence you can say all substrings are subsequences definitely Right, but not all subsequences are substrings, right? Because substring subsequences can be contiguous, it cannot be contiguous. So these all also are subsequences, right? But this is a subsequence, this is not a substring. So this problem is like based on this fact itself that we need to select elements contiguously. Remember, the problem is longest common substring. So in substring, I want contiguous chunk of elements to be same in two strings which are given to me, right? So we are going to play everything upon this, you can say property itself that a substring needs to be contiguous itself, right? I hope the difference between a subsequence and a substring is clear. Let us get right into the problem with an example. Let us see that what the problem is actually saying. So for example, these two strings are given to me and they're asking me that what is the common, you can say what is the longest common substring in these two strings, right? They want the length of that, right? Length of longest common substring. So you can see ADA, ADA is a substring which is common in both of them, definitely. But can you see this, that ADAC is like this whole string is also a substring of itself. So ADAC is present here and ADAC is a substring which is present here as well. So can I say that this ADAC is actually the whole substring which I want, right? Definitely, right? So ADAC, ADAC which is of length four, this four is the answer, right? that the length of the string longest common substring is four itself. This is the answer you have to return four from this, right? So this is the problem itself. I hope the problem statement is clear. Of course, you can see in this example, like a, a, d, a, d is equal to a, d, but length of this common substring is only two. I can make better, right? I can select all these four people and I'll be having a better length, right? So I hope the problem statement is clear. Let us you know, look at the recursive code for this problem. And let me state beforehand itself that recursive code and memoization code for this particular problem are not very optimal, right? They are not very optimal to perform and they are a little bit tricky to understand. So please pay a lot of focus while trying to understand that every time I teach something, I tell what before I tell why, right? So for example, if you're learning an algorithm X, Y, Z, so I will first tell you what we are going to do in that algorithm. And then I'm going to tell you that why we are doing whatever we did, right? Because, you know, before telling you what we are actually doing, I cannot tell you why we are doing something, right? So what is covered first and then why is covered, right? 
and of course we are going to see the tabulation approach as well so tabulation will be the optimal approach so if you are seeking the optimal approach for this problem itself you can just directly skip to tabulation itself but understanding recursion of something is very important because it forms a baseline you can say it forms a very good foundation for that particular problem itself right so let's look at the recursive code for this and then understand this so just like we did in the last problem of longest common subsequences every time i'm going to cover two characters from the string so I'm going to compare B, both of these two characters and see if they are coming in the longest common substring or not. But unlike the previous problem, the difference here is that we want to consider a contiguous segment of this, right, of a substring which we are considering, right. So in order to look at any approach, I'm laying out the, you can say, foundation itself that first we'll be comparing the zeroth elements together, right, and I'll keep another data here. This third thing will tell me the answer you can say the length of the substring which is same common in both of them till now right this zero indicates that till now this is common right this particular you can say length is common right it is it will not be clear right now first see what we are going to the into the algorithm and then understand why we are going to do this stuff right so okay and you know you know like let me you know state this beforehand only that you know uh, a and A, right? Any two characters which, which I'm comparing, for example, I'm comparing these two characters. Those characters can be same, right? Those characters can be same, right? And if the characters are same, right? I want to get the answer from where, right? If both these two characters are same, you can say, uh, you can, in both the strings, right? Can I say they can come together in a substring? Definitely they can because both of them are same. So one plus, what is the best you are able to give me? rest of the people what is the best you are able to give me if i consider the contiguous elements right the elements connected to it what is the best you are able to give me so you can see i'll i'll call i'll be calling for recur and i'll be calling here for you can say i plus one uh, j plus one namely i'm saying that i will be pointing to s1's character and j will be pointing to s2's character and of course right we are going to pass something else as well i'm not telling you right now but bear with me right and there can be another condition as well. For example, if I'm comparing these two characters, these two characters are not same, right? But it is possible. Now you can see in this example, right? These two characters are not same, right? Or we can compare this example, right? You can see these two characters are not same. But one thing is for sure that I can consider this A in the answer. You can see ADAC like this whole, these two strings are having the answer of ADAC. And since they are having the answer of ADAC, this A is contributing into the answer itself. So if this A is contributing into the answer and I'm comparing both of these two people, I cannot ignore both of them. That is what I'm trying to state. If you ignore both of them, nah, this A will not be able to participate in the answer itself. So first you will try to include this A and then call for rest of the people and simultaneously you have to ignore this D, right? Because if you're ignoring, if you're like, choosing this element, you have to ignore this element, right? Because if the comparison is between be both of these two things, right? You cannot select them together like we are doing here, right? You cannot select them together. You can select together only when two people are similar to each other, right? So in simple terms, what I'm trying to say that if two characters are not same, right? Just like in the previous problem itself, if two characters are not same, first I'll try to, one, one option is to include the character of S1 and ignore the character of S2 and second option is include the character of S2 and ig like uh, you can say include the character of S2 and ignore the character of S1 right so I hope this is clear to everybody and the best answer I'll be getting that will be my answer itself right this is you can say pretty similar to whatever we discussed in the last problem as well you might get confused that what different are we doing in this problem because in the last problem as well we were doing a similar thing itself same so I'll select one and then get the answer from rest of the people. Different, I'll include S1, exclude X2, S2, include S2, exclude S1, right? So this is pretty similar to the last problem itself. Let us look at this recursive thing and then understand what's the difference between both of these, you can say problems itself, right? Before, of course, starting the recursion itself, you can see that these, this is the substring which is common, right? This A is similar to this A, but these two A and D are not participating in the answer itself. Answer is this, right? A, D, A, C, A, D, A, C, right? These two A and D are not contributing in the longest common subsequence. Now let us start with the recursive code itself. So I will try to first compare the zeroth characters. Okay. Zeroth characters are same or not same? They are same. 
सो इफ द करेक्टर आर सेम इफ द करेक्टर आर सेम वॉट इज द बेस्ट आई एम एबल टू डू फ्रॉम द पीपल यू कैन से यू कैन से विच आर कमिंग आफ्टर दिस राइट सो आई एल ट्राई टू इंक्लूड बोथ ऑफ दीज टू करेक्टर्स राइट आई एल ट्राई टू इंक्लूड बोथ ऑफ दीज टू करेक्टर्स सो दे आर सेम आई एम ट्राइंग टू इंक्लूड बोथ ऑफ दैम सो इफ आई एम ट्राई टू आई एम ट्राइंग टू इंक्लूड बोथ ऑफ दैम आई एल बी सेंग दैट वन कॉमा वन ऑफकोर्स फ्रॉम एस वन इट इज वन दिस इज आई दिस इज जे राइट दिस इज आई दिस इज जे आई इज इन एस वन एंड जे इज इन एस टू सो आई एल बी आस्किंग फ्रॉम रेस्ट ऑफ द पीपल फॉर बोथ ऑफ दैम प्लस द आंसर आई हैव फॉर्म्ड सो फार आई हैव इंक्लूडेड दिस करेक्टर नो सो दिस आंसर आंसर सो फार विल बी वन ओके आई होप दिस इज क्लियर दैट यू नो दीज टू करेक्टर्स वर सिमिलर सो आई एम कॉलिंग एंड आई एम सेंग दैट ओके आंसर सो फार इज वन and rest of the people what is the best you are able to do now 1 comma 1 we come on 1 comma 1 1 comma 1 simply says that yes yaar vanath character and vanath character are same so if vanath character and vanath character are same so from here like i'll just write this here instead of writing this here itself so you know they are same so i'll be calling for what i'll try to include them right so when i try to include them right i am doing what 1 1 i'll be asking for rest of the people what is the best you are able to do my friends and answer so far i have formed so till now is two no because this d is also included this is the contiguous answer i am forming right so i included zeroth character i included oneth character the length till now is two of my you can say substring itself i hope recursion is getting clear to you all dhyan se dekhna i still know that it's not clear right now just bear so like some time to me just bear with me and it will be clear right so two to two right so two second character in the comparison is between these two characters these two characters are same so they can be included together right so if they can be included together what is the best you are able to do people after me what is the best you are able to do and if i'm including these people if i'm including these people right if i'm including these people answer so far will be 3 answer so far will be 3 all right all right all right so now things will get very interesting you can see till now till now you can see uh, till now i am able to form a answer of 3 that is great that is great no issues till now but on the third character on the third character one thing is clear that the third character in both the strings are not equal here it is c and here it is d so this means that either i have to include this c or i have to include this d right 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 now if i want to make a choice i will try to do the best if i include c and i'll try to do the best if i include d right so there will be two calls from here i hope this point is clear right there will be two calls from here that first i'll try to include the character from s1 then i'll try to include the character from s2 if i try to include the character from s1 right if the if i try to include the character from s1 dhyan se dekhna very important point if i'm trying to include the character from s1 this c is getting included so can you say can you say that the rest of the answer rest of the answer will be formed from you can see this c is getting included so this c will remain like this only right and i am trying to exclude this d no if i am including c i am trying to exclude this d so i'll not decide any answer right now i cannot include c directly i have to find a match with c right i have to find a match with c so if i am like including this c i have to exclude this d so i'll be asking 3 is still there this c is still there but d wants to be excluded so here i'll be calling for 3 plus 1 4 i hope this point is clear i have included this c i have excluded this d right it's wrong to say that we are including c actually what we are doing is we are first trying to exclude d and then we will try to exclude c i hope it is clear so but this answer so far can you tell me what will happen to this answer so far you can see these two characters were not equal and if the characters are not equal can i say the substring has been broken the substring has to be contiguous substring has been broken so this answer so far will be passed as zero here because the characters were not same i hope this is clear if we are not including both the characters in the answer i have successfully broken the substring right i have parted the substring right and this makes this answer so far to zero itself until it the characters were same and we were including them i was incrementing i was incrementing the answer so far as soon as i stop including both the characters i will pass a zero here i hope this point is clear to everybody so we are standing on 3 4 comma 0 now 3 4 right and answer so far which is zero only right 
you can see these two characters are also not equal the third character is not third character in s1 is not equal to the fourth character in s2 so here also i have to make choices so first i will try to exclude the character from s2 and then i'll try to exclude the character from s1 so let's call for the exclusion of s2 so 3 will remain as it is i want to exclude the character from s2 so 4 will become 5 and answer so far will be 0 it will be passed as it is okay okay no issues now 3 5 comma 1 you can see these two characters are equal these two characters yes my friend these two characters are indeed equal and if the characters are equal what do we do i will be trying i'll try to include these two characters i'll first try to include both of these two characters right i'll try to include both of these two characters so when i'll try to include these characters what will i say uh, i'll say you know 4 comma 6 what's the best you are able to do right of course 4 comma 6 the string is empty actually right and 0 will, I'll not pass 0 because I'm including both of these two characters and they were same. So I'll be passing here 1, right. Now this is the base case my friend. We have successfully reached a base case. And what is the base case? That if, you know, uh, this 4 comma 6, right, if they are not, you can say, uh, these two characters, like if these indexes are equal to the length of the strings, if we are having no characters in any of the string, right, whatever answer so far I have built, nah, I will return that as it is. So this will return one as it is this answer so far will be built as it is so i hope this is clear in whatever problems you have solved till now in the series itself we were getting the answer from front here what we are doing we are building the answer as we go up i hope this point is clear to everybody right okay so this was the you can say choice of 350 when we included this right we were able to include them because c was equal to c but it is possible right you can see that a is equal to a here I'm just taking a random example. So A is equal to A. But can you see this A is not a part of answer? Right. So even if the people are getting included, it is possible that they cannot be the part of answer. Right. So I'll now try to call these two things. Right? Just like these, I'll try to do two calls. And first, I will try to exclude the S1. Then I'll try to exclude the S2th character, right? This point is not clear right now. Don't worry. By the time we you know, complete this citation, it will be very clear. Don't worry. I'm going as deep as possible in this problem. This problem is covered, I would say, rather poorly on, you can say, YouTube itself, right? And if I am successfully able to complete the recursive tree, it will be clear for the whole YouTube scene itself, right? Forever, right? So full focus. I will try to exclude, uh, like I'll try to include S1. So I'm trying to exclude S2, right? So S2th character. So this fifth character I want to exclude, right? So here what I'm going to call, I'm going to call three as it is, but instead of five, I'll pass six here. Answer so far will be zero itself because I'm not including both of these two characters, right? Okay, okay, okay. Now, this six has reached this limit. What is the length of the longest common substring in this particular substring and this particular substring? This is no substring. And what is common between me and someone who is empty? right empty right so i will return zero right whatever is answer till now now i will return as it is as soon as we reach as soon as any of i and j reaches their respective lengths i will return the answer so far as it is i will return zero from here i will return zero from here okay this was the call when we were excluding the stuart character now i will call for the thing that when where i am include like including the stuart character excluding the s1 character so when i exclude this three becomes four this 5 stays the same and 0 will be passed as it is because I'm not considering them together, right? I'm breaking a substring, right? So, 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 full focus. 4, 5, 0. 4, 5, 0. 4 is out of bounds. And if any of i and j goes out of bounds, I return whatever answer so far is. I will return 0 from here directly. Now you have to compare. You have to compare what? You have to compare what is the answer if I get included? What is the answer if I exclude S2? What is the answer if I exclude S1 and what versus what is the answer? Tell me, what is the answer? Tell me. So who is better among them? Of course, one is better. So I am going to return one itself. We are going to do the complete iteration. Don't worry if it's not clear. It will be get clear. It will get cleared. In this particular call, I excluded S2. Now I'll be excluding S1 at character. So three will become four. Four will stay four only and zero will be passed as it is. Now, you can see four, <laughs> this string, right? Four is out of bounds. So whenever we go out of bounds, I will return this as it is. The zero will be returned as it is. No issues, no issues. All right. Now, three, four comma zero. Now three, four comma zero has to decide. What is the best option? I, they cannot come together. 
right they cannot come together and if they cannot come together right they don't have this option of getting included right so the the only options they are having is if i exclude s2th character versus if i exclude s1th character versus the answer tell me the best is if i exclude the s2th character definitely and this is the best thing right so you can see 3 comma 4 3 comma 4 right if i exclude this a then only i am able to form the longest common substring no so i'll be returning one from here as it is i hope this thing is clear to everybody i hope till here everything is clear all right all right all right so now 3 comma 3 comma 3 now 3 and 3 were not same so this call was when i was excluding this d now i will exclude this c this s vanath character so this 3 will become 4 and this 3 will remain as it is and you can say answer so far will become what answer so far will become what it will become zero because i am breaking i am you know i am not like i am not taking them together if i am not taking them together i am breaking the substring which is formed till here right so before 3 comma 3 you can see now this is the answer which is formed till here right and if i want to search anything better than these right and i'm excluding any of these characters i am not considering a substring so i'll make this zero i hope this point is clear to everybody and let's move forward yahan se dekhna 4 3 comma 0 now 4 3 comma 0 4 3 uh, you can say uh, 4 3 comma 0 4 is actually out of bounds in this particular string so as soon as any of i and j becomes out of bounds i'll return whatever answer till now zero now 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 very important point full focus yahan se dekhna dekho 3 comma 3 comma 3 all right what is the best like this this three and this third three all the both the third characters of these things cannot like this i cannot come along with this j so they definitely cannot come come, come along each other so what are the options i am having is that first option is what is the best time able to do if i am excluding the s2th character versus what is the best time able to do if i am excluding the s1th character versus what is the answer i have formed till now this three is now helping me right because before this right i was able to form this three no so i am going to return what i am going to return that 3 is the best answer right which like among all these options and this will return 3 itself this will return 3 itself i hope this point is clear okay so 2 2 2 right 2 2 2 2 all right this sec these two seconds characters right now uh, you can see right uh, i'll be calling uh, for you can say different you can say this 2 and 2 they were coming together here this 2 and 2 right these two characters were coming together here and now they will try to call uh, first call will be i am excluding s1 like s2th character and then i'll be excluding s1th character and in both the cases i'll be passing zeros here right i'll be passing zeros here okay so uh, i i you definitely understand this that you know if i am excluding any one of these characters right i am like from here i am able to form a length of 2 right i'm not be i'll not be able to form a good answer right this 3 will be the best answer if i am you know uh, going forward right here answer so far will be pass 0 if i am excluding the characters right so you can see when wherever the characters are equal there we are doing three calls wherever the characters are not equal there we are doing only two calls right okay so here i am saying, saying directly that 3 will be returned itself because it's the best answer itself dhyan se dekhna 1 comma 1 comma this is not the case i want to show you 1 comma 1 comma 1 you can see right uh, from this particular thing if this you can say character wants to participate in the longest common substring 3 is the best it's able to do right uh, if i try to like 1 comma 1 was equal so whenever we are equal i'll i'll be calling for you can say first i'll include both the characters together then i'll include the s2th character then i'll include the s1th character no matter what the best answer will come out to be 3 itself i am going to return 3 itself from here right i am doing it directly i hope it is clear right this is not the case i want to show you i want to show a different case where we are getting the best answer right i want to show you this case right so full focus ke sath dekhna hai okay now we can say that 0 comma 0 comma 0 i included the zeroth character in the answer itself now what i am going to do i am going to call for different cases and these cases will be i'll try to first call if you can say i am including this person in the answer but i want to exclude this person from here right if people are equal they can be included together no matter what i am doing these two calls so definitely that i'll exclude this one include this one and i'm exclude this one include this so now we are going to do what call i am going to exclude the s2th character right from here i'm going to exclude the s2th character if i am excluding the s2th character zero will remain as it is this will become one and here i'm going to call for a zero here right a zero because whenever i'm not including two characters together this counter resets to zero itself right okay zero one and zero all right all right zero one and zero 
so zero one and zero so comparison is between zero and one you can definitely see my friend that zero and one are not same and if you are not same so i'll call first by I'll, the first call will be let's say i'm excluding the stoth character then what is the best i'm able to do if i'm excluding the stoth character zero will remain as it is one will become two and of course this zero will be passed here right like you can say zero will be reset it right whenever i'm not included including the characters i make it zero only right okay i hope it is not visible to you i think it's not visible to you i'll just give me a second i'll manage my screen accordingly let me remove this from here okay. so now it will be clear so zero two and zero we are having zero versus two character you can see it is same in both of them and if this thing is same in both of them what are we going to do if both are same so i'll first try to include both of them together this will be calling for inclusion so first call will be including both of them so if i include both of them rest of the answer have to have to be formed by their you can say uh, you can say what what do you call it uh, successors right so one and three and this zero since i am including these two characters can i say one character i found in the substring which can be a longest common substring so here I am going to increment this counter and I am going to pass 1 that you can see before these people I am able to form an answer of 1 right until here I am able to form an answer of 1 right now 1 versus 3 right 1 character 3rd character both are same so here I am going to call for what here I am going to call for 2 comma 4 both of them will be incremented and since I am including both of them together as they were same I will increment this counter and I'll pass count plus 1 and it will become 2 right it will become 2 now this has become 2 and I am successfully standing on 2 comma 4 and if I am standing on 2 comma 4 what is going to be done they both are same and if they both are same if they both are same I am going to call for 3 comma 5 I am calling for 3 comma 5 and of course I will be incrementing this and I will be passing a 3 here 3 comma 5 with the 3 is present here 3 comma 5 I am standing on right 3 comma 5 I am standing on can you see this third character is equal to the fifth character I will be calling for what I will be calling for 4 comma 6 and I'll be passing a 4 here. 4 comma 6. We are out of bounds in both of them. If I go out of bounds in any of them, I will return whatever answer I found till now. Na? So I will return this 4 from here. I will return this 4 from here. And can you see this 4 will be the best answer itself. You can of course, you know, this is the inclusion call. Here I'm going to do two more calls. But 4 will be the best out of both of these calls. I'm not drawing those two calls. I'll directly return 4. From here as well, you can say, uh, the answer will be between 4 versus whatever this call gives me, whatever this call gives me versus the answer till me. 4 will be the better one. I'll return 4 itself. 4 versus whatever this call gives me, whatever this call gives me. Why am I drawing 3 calls from here? Because characters were same. Whenever characters are same, I'm doing 3 calls. Whenever characters are different, I'm doing only 2 calls, right? So, so, so. So, uh, you can say that this, yes, I'll be, you know, of course, the best answer will be 4 from here as well. The best answer will be 4 from here as well. And 0 and 2th character, the best answer will be 4 from here as well. And you can see, right, if I exclude any one of them, right, 0 and 1th character, 0 and 1th character, right. If I exclude any one of them, right, if I exclude this, what is the best I'm able to do from this rest of the thing? It will be 3, right. If I'm excluding this D, right, what is the best I'm able to do from this particular string, right, this, this particular string, right, it will be yeah it will be 4 itself right so 0 comma 1 right 0 comma 1 right so this was the exclusion call itself so 0 comma 1 is not similar 0 comma 1 are not same so 0 comma 1 are not same and if i now this has to make a call when i'm excluding s vanath character the right call is for excluding s vanath character if i exclude this a i'll be able to form a length of 3 itself at best right so 4 will be the better one right so i'll return 4 from here as well 4 from here as well this was the call when i was excluding the you can say s Toth character. This A was excluded, right? Now I'll do a call when I'm excluding this S vanath character. Still, I'll be able to form D S only, right? So that is not best. So four will be the best answer. So I'll be returning four from here itself. I hope this whole recursive tree is clear. I'll generalize this recursive algorithm now, and I hope you all are understanding and you enjoyed this whole recursive tree for this problem itself, right? Let us look at the you can say generalized form of this itself. So if I generalize this. If s of i, s1 of i th character is equal equal to s2 of j th character, then what I am going to do, I am going to do the first call which is including both of them, including s y and s j, and will be i plus one, j plus one, and count till me plus one, whatever was the count till me, that plus one, right? If 
and you know of course this was the call when i was including but it is possible now that they can be similar but it is not we are not sure that you know any one of them can not be a part of substring itself as we saw in the previous example right so you can see from this example i'll again tell you that you can see that a and a are same but this a is not a part of the overall answer right this a is not a part of this overall answer this is the overall answer these are the two strings which i'm targeting this a is not part participating right so i am going to do two more calls here this call will be first i'm excluding excluding the s2 of jth character this call will be excluding x1 of ith character i hope this point is clear if i'm excluding s2 of jth character i will be passed as it is j will be incremented i'm excluding this partic particular person and count i'll pass as zero itself because i am not considering like i have actually broken something right the substring which was formed till now i have broken that right so i'll pass zero here because this is the point in this problem this is not a longest common subsequence it is longest common substring we need to be contiguous if i'm breaking something i have to pass a zero itself that i am not able to find anything right because substrings cannot contain breaks right substring has to be contiguous right if i'm excluding s1 of ith character if i'm excluding s1 of ith character what i'm going to simply do i'm going to pass i plus 1 j with a zero itself with a zero itself i hope this general approach of recursion is clear when the characters are same and what are we going to do when the characters are different so if the characters are different right you can see we cannot we cannot do this inclusion call right we cannot do this inclusion call so when the characters are different i'll simply do this when the characters are different when s1 of i is not equal to s2 of j if we are not equal to i'll not be calling for this side i cannot call for this side only calls i am able to do is these two calls right i hope this you can say uh, thing is going to like it is predicting like uh, you can say uh, helping you to understand this itself and what we are going to return from here we are going to return this value v1 whatever gets returned from here v2 whatever gets returns from here v3 whatever gets returns of here versus count so v1 versus v2 versus v3 versus count whatever the maximum of these is that is what we are going to return from this particular case and from this particular case what are we going to return we are going to return you can say v1 that is the value which will come from here v2 that is the value will come which will come from here versus the count right so v1 versus v2 versus count only difference is that you know uh, when the characters are not same i'm not doing this call when the characters are same i'm doing this call, right i hope this thing is clear i hope the recursive approach is clear again i'm saying this is not the optimal approach but it lays a foundation to you like to you itself because in interviews i have like, some of my students have told me that uh, you know interviewers are interviewers are more interested in brute force solutions rather than optimal solutions because you know it is like if you go in an interview right and you directly tell them what is an optimal solution right interviewer will you know think that you have actually you know mugged up the solution for that problem itself and that is a wrong impression right uh, even if you are able to remember some code regarding that problem and you give the directly give the you can say uh, optimal code that is bad impression right so some of the interviews what what they have started to do is that they deliberately ask you can say a uh, brute force solution to some of these kinds of problems which are having some typical kind of recursion tree, right so i hope this is clear let us quickly cover the recursive code for this and convert it to memoization and then we are going to look at the tabulation approach itself which is you can say optimal than this which is better than this itself right so let's get right into it all right so for the recursive code itself i'll directly write here return recurs right i'll pass s1 i'll pass s2 i'll pass 0 0 this is i and j and this is the answer so far we can say count right so what i'm going to do here uh, is that basically integer recurs uh, so integer recurs yes definitely string s1 string s2 that is what i'm passing here integer i integer j and integer answer so far i hope this is clear to everybody now the base case is that if i reaches s1 dot length right or j any one of them reaches s2 dot length any one of them reaches out of bounds i'm simply going to return whatever answer so far i am able to form till now no issues no issues now what i'm able to do, what i'm what i'm going to do here is that you know uh, if s1 dot you can say uh, char at i is equal equal to s2 dot char at j then i'm able to i'll i'll be doing the including call right i'll be i'll be doing the inclusion call right so answer so far is equal to math dot max of or like in other terms i can say integer inclusion call and initialize it with zero right if the characters are same then i'll be 
calling the inclusion call help recur for s1 s2 i plus 1 j plus 1 and answer so far plus 1 that is what i'm going to pass here because i'm including these two people here right okay so this is the inclusion call which is done if the characters are same now for the rest of the calls which are where i'm excluding s2 excluding s1 as character those call is those those all calls are common whenever you know s1 of i is equal to s2 of j or not right so in integer or you can say exclude s2 of j this is the option mind that is the second the middle call which we were doing right recur for s1 s2 i hope this things are getting cleared right i j plus 1 because i'm excluding the jth character answer so far instead of answer so far i'll pass a zero here integer exclude s1 of i is equal to recur for s1 s2 i will say uh, simply that you know i plus 1 because i'm excluding i plus 1th character j will be passed as it is 0 because i'm breaking here right the substring is getting broken in in both of these two calls we were continuing the answer so far because like i'm including the whatever characters are there so that's why i'm uh, writing answer so far here since we are not including the characters which we are standing on this means that we are breaking something and substrings cannot have breaks right what we have to return we have to return the math dot max of you can say answer so far comma including comma exclude exclude s2 of j comma exclude uh, exclude s1 of i right of course this is wrong syntax i cannot write like this so i'll do what instead in inside this i'll write two math dot max is math dot max of like this and i'll write here as well i'll write uh okay choose math dot max, right so math dot max. right this is what i'm going to return let's run this code and let's see if it's working or not uh all right so definitely it will be giving me memory limit exceeded itself instead of custom test cases let me first you know show this to you uh, you can say on the sample test cases which they are giving us right so when we run this on sample test cases it, it it will run just fine it will run you know uh just fine right instead of just give me a second I'm, i'll just remove the custom test cases from here right let's use example test cases so let's uh run this on this and yeah it is passing it is passing with flying colors no issues right but this code is of course not optimal so in order to make this code optimal i'll convert i'll be converting this code into memoization itself so in order to convert this to memoization itself uh, the simple trick is i'll copy this and paste this here right these are the tricks i have told you in the course this is the series which we are following if you do not understand what tricks i'm applying you have to watch the lectures from the very beginning of this series right these are the tricks which i have told to everybody to convert recursion to memoization memoization tabulation so if you have any doubt in these tricks you'll have to watch the lectures from the very beginning right from this series itself right so recur and i'll uh, this the first thing is that change recur wherever i'm like writing memo here just when i'm write, writing uh, recur here i'll change it to memoization and here i'll pass a dp of what parameters right you can say what parameters i j and answer so far these are the parameters which are getting changed no so dp will be of three dimensions right dp will be of three dimensions okay so i have constructed the three three dimensional dp wherever i'm calling these recur functions i'll be passing this dp array itself dp array itself i'll pass this dp 3d array itself this is the 3D DP question, right? The first 3D DP question which we are doing, right? So I'll pass this uh, DP array here itself. I hope the code is clear to you all. I hope it is not getting hidden like behind me. If it is getting hidden behind me, like you can of course see like this now. So the this is the these are the changes I've done here. Now what I'm going to do, uh, right? Now recall and remember these two things are remaining, right? So if DP of i j answer so far is not equal to minus one this means that we have actually calculated the answer for this right because i'll initialize the dp such that every index is having a minus one if there is no minus one there this means that we have calculated the answer for this i'll return dp of i j and answer so far i hope this is clear here what i'm going to do when i'm returning dp of i j answer so far i will remember so this is recall and this is remember right this is the memoization code itself i hope this is clear i'll call this memoization function from here so let me call this memoization function and we have to initialize dp as well so I'll make a 3d dp dp is equal to new int new int oh, new int n m 
comma math dot min of n comma m because answer so far right answer can be as large as the minimum of both of these two strings right because you know if if a string is a and another string is a b c the minimum length is one so common would be the maximum common you can say uh, you can common substring would be the length of the minimum string right the minimum length string right that could be the maximum one so the third parameter i'm initializing as math dot min of n comma m but in right now the dp every index initially it it is having zeros right i'll change that to minus one so for integer i is equal to zero i less than n i plus plus for integer j is equal to zero j is equal to zero j less than m j plus plus j less than m j plus plus arrays dot fill dp of i comma j dp of i comma j th array i'll fill it with minus one remember this is the 3d dp so dp of i comma j will be a 1d array right so i hope this is clear right now dp has been initialized with minus ones i'll return dp here this is the first 3d dp question and i hope it is clear to everybody the trick is very simple whatever parameters are getting changed that is what we're going to return so of course you know this solution is also not the optimal solution because the time complexity for this code will be n cube right and of course we are taking a lot of space as well right you can see tle we are getting here and here as well you can see the allotted the expected time complexity and space complexity is n cross n and n cross n right so now we are going to see the tabulation part of this problem i know this video is a little bit long right but i hope this problem will be clear after this video itself so let us look at the tabulation approach for this problem itself now in order to solve this problem in the most optimal way what i have done here is i have created a 2d array of size n plus 1 cross m plus 1 you can see n plus 1 n plus 1 cross m plus 1 right m plus 1 right so this kind of array i have created and now let us fill this array and i'll tell you what every cell means here what is the meaning of every cell dhyan se dekhna if i am telling that this cell is the thing na if i want i want to fill this cell then i'll say that what is the best i am doing if the longest common substring is ending at this particular position right what is the best i am i am able to do if the longest common substring is ending at this particular position okay don't worry if it's not clear let's look at this so this 4 and 6 is extra right this 4 and 6 represent empty strings so can you tell me this cell i want to fill the first what is common in empty string what is the length of the longest common substring in empty string versus empty string it is empty then it is zero if i want to fill this what is common between empty string versus c empty string versus c it is empty string i am going to write zero here common between empty string and a nothing like ac nothing common between empty string and dac nothing zero common between this and this zero 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 so in this whole row i am going to write zero because i want to find something common between both of these two things right empty and something else so it will going to be empty right what is common between empty string I want to fill this cell now. What is common between empty string, length of the com longest common substring in empty string, and this C? Empty string. So I'm going to write zero here as well. No issues. Let's look at this particular case. What is common between this C and this C? You can see the characters are equal. And if the characters are equal, one plus what are other people are able to, able to do? Right. I'll simply say that I am able to do one. Right. So I'll write one here. Okay. I hope this is clear. Right. I have to fill this cell now. What is the length of longest common sub string? If we are starting from these two characters, these two characters are not same. I'll not be able to make anything. Right. Zero substring cannot be formed. Right. I'll say zero. What is the longest common substring? If this these two characters are like what i want to start with right i cannot start with two characters right i can start with only one character so what i'm going to write here i'm going to write here a zero right zero is common if the longest common substring is starting from this particular area right c and d c and d are not equal nothing can be formed c and a what is the best not equal zero c and d not equal zero c and a not equal zero that's it wherever not equal just simply write zero let's move forward what is common between a and empty string nothing i'm going to write a zero here i'm going to write a zero here so in this cell as well you can of course this row column is still you can imagine that we are going to write zero itself let's talk about this area a versus c a and c are not equal i'll i'm right i'm going to write zero here a is equal to a 
So what is the best I'm able to make? A and A can come together. And what is the best rest of the people are making? What is the best these all people are making? 1 plus whatever is written here. It is 1. So I'm going to write here a 2. You can definitely see AC is common to AC. Yes, my friend, that is the case. Now let's move forward. A and D are not equal. Write 0. A and A are not equal. Uh, they are equal, definitely. So 1 plus whatever, what is the best other people are able to do? Nothing. So I'll, I'll say that only. Okay. I'll come alone that A is the longest common substring. If we are starting from these indexing, right? Okay. Okay. So D A not equal. A A equal. So 1 plus what is the best other people are able to do? 0. So I'm going to write 1 here only, right? So I'm coming alone, right? Okay. No issues. I hope this is clear to everybody. Let's move forward. Let's move forward. What is common between D and empty string? Nothing. So I'm going to write 0. What is the length of the longest common substring? If we are starting from D and here we are starting from C, right? D is not equal to C. We cannot start from this index. So I'll write 0. D is not equal to A. 0. D is equal to D. So if D is equal to D, what I'm going to write? I'm going to write 1 plus whatever other people are able to do after these two Ds. What are the other people are able to do? You can definitely see that we are doing 2. So 1 plus 2, I'm going to write here a 3. I hope this is clear. This, what, what do I want to write in this particular area? D is not equal to A, 0. D is equal to D. So 1 plus what are other people able to do? A and all these people able to do, right? So 1 plus 1, which is 2. Essentially, we are saying that this is the string we are forming if we are ending at this particular index. I hope this is clear. D and A are not equal, write 0 here. A and empty string, 0 will be common, right? Of course, these two areas, like, they will be 0 only, right? Because empty string, empty string, nothing is common between them, right? Now, A is not equal to C, I'm going to write 0. A is equal to A, I'm going to write 1 plus whatever other people are able to, 0. A is not equal to D, 0. A is, you can say, uh, not equal to, is, is equal to A. So, here I'm going to write 1 plus whatever other people are able to do, plus 3, I'm going to write a 4 here. And if I'm saying that I'm, I want to write a 4 here, this and this. This is the string I'm including. So that is why the length is 4. I hope this is clear. That is the common string in both of them, right? Substring, right? So A and D not equal, 0. A and A equal, 1 plus 2, which is 3, right? If I'm writing 3 here, this means that ADC and ADC, right? ADA, right? I hope this is clear. You can see the best answer is this 4. After creating this 2 DDP array, I'll traverse on all the indexes, whatever best is there. That will be the answer itself. I hope this is clear to everybody. Let us complete the code for this itself and then wind up the video itself. All right. So we are back in code itself and here I'll just comment this code out. I want to create a 2D DP integer 2D array. DP is equal to new integer n plus 1 comma m plus 1. That extra index I'm taking to consider empty strings as well. You can of course add a if statement and prevent yourself for, from going there. But I'm taking n plus 1 comma n plus 1 here. What we are going to do here is simple, right? I'll be traversing for integer i is equal to n minus 1, i greater than equal to 0, i minus minus. For integer j is equal to m minus 1, j greater than equal to 0, j minus minus. Right. These two loops, how will they iterate? You can see they will simply iterate in this way. They will simply iterate in this way. I hope this is clear. Right. So, these two loops are going to iterate in that way. And when we are doing here, when we are doing something here, you can definitely see that if s s1 dot char at char at i is equal equal to s2 dot char at char at j then i'm going to do what dp of i comma j i comma j is equal to 1 plus what's the best rest of the people in string s1 are able to do and string s2 are able to do j plus 1 i comma 1 comma plus j plus right this will construct the whole dp array very simple i hope it is clear integer maxi is equal to 0 I'll traverse on this whole 2D DB array again for integer i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus for integer uh, let me just for integer j equal to 0 j less than m j plus plus right and what I'm going to do here uh, max is equal to math dot max of uh, maxi comma db of i comma j I'll get the maximum from you can of course do this work in this loop as well I generally you know separate the logics out right so that it's easier to understand maxi Compile and write. I hope this is clear. Let us uh, run this. Yes, answer is getting perfectly done.
this passing successfully i hope this problem is clear of course this is a very long video but i hope this problem is clear in depth this video was not covered very in depth in youtube itself and like even i was struggling when i was you know studying dsa and when i came across this problem for the very first time i was struggling a lot to understand the you can say explanation itself i hope now everybody for everybody on you it is clear that you know how do we solve it in recursive what is the thinking process in recursion what is memoization and how do we optimize in tabulation itself i hope this problem is clear to everybody so while looking at my youtube stats i'll show you somewhere around here i came across this stat that nearly 40% of the watch time on my channel is coming from non subscribe people right so it would be very helpful of you all uh, to subscribe the channel itself and if you are liking the videos do, do tell me in the comment section whatever is your feedback right if you are liking the videos if you are disliking the videos whatever is the feedback i am open to every feedback so i hope you enjoyed this lecture i definitely enjoyed this long lecture uh, hope to see you all in the next lecture itself until the next video drops bye